Hi, my name is Justin, aka Ghost Reader, and today we're going to do my uh, wrap up for the month of February. I read a lot of books. I participated in the book two games. I read uh, books uh, for uh, uh, that uh, for Blackathon. So I had a really good uh, reading month last month. So um, I read a lot of books. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And for fiction, I read three books. Uh, at least Buddy read three books, um, fiction books. I was supposed to Buddy read four. And those three, well, the four were The Old Man's Slave by Patrick Clemenceau, um, Jonas Gordvine by Zora Neale Hurston, uh, The Known World, World by Edward P. Jones, and Cane River. Uh, I can't remember the author's name off the top of my head, but I didn't get to, to Kane River, so I won't talk about it in this wrap-up. But the first three books, I did get to. And Old Slave Man uh, by Patrick Chemislow was the first book that I read. And that book was um, uh, basically about a, a very uh, old slave that decides to run away from his master. Uh, he lives on the uh, island of Martinique, but he decides to run for freedom after years of being on the uh on the plantation and uh and basically it's about his experience running away uh it started out a really great book i say the first half of the book was really great uh the second half of the book i feel is gets got bogged down with the descriptions of what the old man is going through uh and and not just the boring descriptions they the descriptions are very well written uh, but they're just way too long and it kind of takes away from the story itself it loses its flavor after a while it's like something that starts out really good and then as you continue like eating like a particular like if you have food and you, you start out really good but after a while you can kind of get tired of the taste even though the taste is good kind of happens with this book and it kind of boils it down and so for me that this would have been a lot better book um, if he had focused a little less on that part of, of the pros but um it was a it was an okay read uh, Jonah's Gordvine by Zora Neale Hurston was an absolute, absolutely, absolutely great read. I really enjoyed it. Um, this is my first uh, book by Zora Neale Hurston. I read a short story by her um, last year, and um, I wasn't like really impressed by it. It was just okay uh, a read, but Jonah's Gordvine was absolutely amazing. I really want to read her eyes were watch their eyes were watching God that she also wrote. But in this book, it follows. Uh, uh, the protagonist who, who's basically based off her father and basically it goes through him trying to uh, I would I would say trying to be trying to find himself and to be a man and along the way he basically does really terrible with his relationships with the women in his life like the the, the wives and women uh, in his in his life because he is like a perpetual cheater uh, really and it kind of goes through what the book kind of goes through like what's his, what's he's thinking how's it affecting the women and the family in his life uh and it's just a very well written book um i really liked it and really uh, enjoyed that <clears throat> um and definitely i i, I if you want to read some of those ordinary Hurston's work uh, i definitely would say you can should pick this up um and then there was also the known world by edward p jones uh and this book is basically about a plantation in the aftermath of the master dying was happening on that plantation and it jumps around it does a lot of jumping around so one moment you're in like the present which is like ju just after the slave master dies and then sometimes you're far in the future and then sometimes you're back in the past um, so reading this as an audiobook it was kind of discombobulating a bit because it was all over the place but um nation's story is about not a is actually about a, a black slave owning uh, family so this isn't a, a white people owning black slaves this is actually a black family owning um owning slaves and also their interactions with other black families that own slaves and the white people in the area as well and so this is a this was for me it was the story i, I thought was good it didn't really grab me unfortunately but i really did like the the, uh, the story um so it was for me it wasn't like a, a great read but, but it wasn't a bad read it was a it's an okay read uh, I did like the fact that um, he explored uh, uh, life of a, like a black only slave family and what that meant for the slaves themselves, the, what that meant for the, the slave owners. And I, I did, even though it was kind of discombobulating with the time jumps back and forth, it was a very interesting way to, to uh, phrase, to kind of um, show the story and the progression and how it affected things down the line and what things in the past had affected things that were happening in the present and also in the, in the future so it was a really uh, interesting read 
uh, and um, I would encourage you to pick this up. It may not have been like the greatest read for me, but I think that um, some of you out there will actually like this book. The next book that I read uh, was a nonfiction book, and my nonfiction read for the month of February was uh, uh, The Black Count by Tom, Tom Reese. And this is basically a nonfiction book about uh, um, Alexander Dumas' uh, father. Uh, so the the guy who wrote uh, the Three Musketeers, the Count of Monte Cristo, this is about uh, his father. His father uh, was born um, in uh, Haiti, or actually San Domingo, San, Santo Domingue, as it was known back then, uh, that the island where Haiti and um, the Dominican Republic now are. And uh, basically, his father was a white man. His mother was black, and his father. Uh, and the son, uh, at some point, they moved back to France. Oh, well, they moved to France where his father had a fortune and his son, uh, who is this mixed uh, man of mixed race, basically inherits that fortune. And basically because of the whole uh, French Revolution that's happening, he begins to, he joins the army and begins to rise to the ranks and actually gets to the point of becoming a general um, and rubbing shoulders for people like Napoleon. Even though later on in the, the relationship between the two, uh, basically they, they had a falling out um, after um, uh, the Napoleon's failed adventure in Egypt. And so um, what, what I found out was that a lot of the events that happened in his father's life and in, in, um, in Dumas' father's life actually influenced um, what he put into the Count of Monte Cristo, which he wrote later on. So uh, because I read this book, which I, is a great book and I think you should read it if you're into biographies, I also went and read uh, the Count of Monte Cristo to see the, the influence and the inspiration uh, from the events of his father's life and how that uh, and what uh, like events in Count of Monte Cristo were influenced by them. And you can definitely see it from like the imprisoning of the Count of Monte Cristo. So it was similar to imprisoning of his father um, coming into like a fortune that um, when he didn't have one before was similar to how it's not exactly similar but that having that parallel um, experience of coming to a fortune um, and being up into like the, the French higher class and uh, or, or similar between the two his father and um, Edmond Dantes so it was really great I actually uh, got to not only read this great biography but also and got, got me to read to finish reading the count of monte cristo which is a book i started before but never finished so i'm really glad that i read uh the black count and also got to read uh the count of monte cristo next for, for my comic reads of the month i've read uh these four comics uh the prowler uh, the, uh, let me uh let me get this right uh the prowler uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America, uh, Black Panther World of Wakanda, and Mosaic, and these were all uh, great reads. I enjoyed them. Mosaic is a, a part of the Inhumans in the Marvel Universe. Uh, he basically can jump from body to body. Uh, the Black Panther World of Wakanda was about the Dora Milaje. Uh, well, two of the Dora Milaje who are kind of falling in love with each other at the beginning of, of this series. Um, Sam Wilson, Captain America's, uh, this first issue deals with, uh, uh, Sam Wilson, who's, uh, originally the Falcon taking over the Captain America, um, uh, mantle and his attempts to try to fill in the shoes of Captain America. And the Prowler is a vigilante, uh, who, um, is uh, trying to go straight. Um, but actually he had gone straight and he at some point had gotten killed and now has been brought back and he is attempting to uh, basically find find um, find some purpose really um, that's what I got from this comic so they were all really uh, great reads um, so that is eight of my hip-hop um, covers read so far with the four I read, read last month so I look forward to the ones for uh, for the march where um basically i'm gonna they're gonna be women characters written by women marvel comic writers so keep an eye out for that for next month and then also i read in the best american science fiction and fantasy 2018 i read two short stories uh and those were uh you have a family you will have a family a trip a triptych by kathleen uh kayembe kayembe by Kathleen Kayembe and Loneliness is in Your Blood by Cadwell Turnbull and um, You Will Have a Family was a really interesting read it mixes um, uh, 
uh, it's, it has some uh, African lore in it and basically uh, this girl is visiting her uncle and she realizes that in one of the rooms that her uncle keeps closed there's something in there that keeps trying to uh, get out at night and it eventually does and when you find out what it is and the backstory behind it it's just a really great story this is actually the first great read um, I've had uh, in this book so far and the second one loneliness is in your blood is kind of uh, about a vampire like creature uh, who basically um, was a, is a was a I'm not sure if I forget if it was brought over on a slave ship or it was already here but basically it it, it, um, it takes it took advantage kind of, of the slave situation um, by feeding on the slaves but also is is lonely. Um, it's this lonely thing that is, 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 you know, it's trying to find companionship. And it does when it uh, one day has a child. And it's just really uh, interesting looking at how um, the evolution of the monster that's really lonely that finally gets a child. And then what happens once that child gets older. Um, and so both of these stories were really great. They're two great stories. I really liked um, you will have a family story really well. That's been the best one I read so far. So I'm hoping that the stories um, that I read further on in this book kind of live up to the two that these have um, done uh, so far. And then for my genre read uh, of the month, I read Thug by uh, An Angie Thomas, the, the Hate You Give. And I really like this book. I buddy read this from Jesse from Bowties and Books. Uh, we both enjoyed it. Uh, Jesse actually made some really uh, good videos uh, about uh, the hate you give and i'll link uh, those down in the description of the box below so definitely go check those out um for me they were really really good reads uh, it was a really good read um i, I really uh, enjoyed seeing uh, the world through the main character's eyes um and actually being able to uh relate to some of the experiences that she had um and actually um i think even uh more eye-opening for me was uh, the, the um, experiences that I couldn't re relate to. So I could relate to uh, going to, say, a better school, but not necessarily uh, an all-white school. I went to a better school, but the school still had mostly Black and Hispanics. Uh, I could relate going, uh, being in a neighborhood that was kind of rough, but not as rough as the main characters in uh, the main character in The Hate You Get. Um, so uh, there are some things that I could relate to as a black person and there's some things that I couldn't because uh, not every black person's um, experience is the same and that's important to remember when for example you read books like The Hate You Give or any other book uh, that just because it was written by a black author or, a, uh, or uh, it was written by a black author it has a black protagonist in it that the experiences that that particular one faces isn't uh, necessarily indicative of all experiences that we face but this was a really great book um, uh, so I'm, I'm really glad that my second genre read of the month uh, of the year has been great they actually both so far have been really good I'm enjoying them I really really enjoyed the hit you give um, it definitely deserves the accolades uh, that um, it got it has and then one book that I've read uh, because of Blackathon was Poet X. And must I, I, mean, I have to say that this was also a really, really good uh, book as well. It's about a, a, uh, a Hispanic girl who uh, is, um, uh, I'm not sure if she's Hispanic or Afro-Latina. She's one of the two. Um, but she basically is trying to, to, to find herself. She's a teenager growing up. Her mother's really religious. And basically this girl's trying to figure out who she is, as we all are trying to do when we're like teenagers in high school. And she finds that she can really express herself through poetry. And the journey and experience that she has uh, going from a girl who's trying to figure out who she is to finding her voice through poetry is just completely, this book was just really well, well written. Um, I suggest uh, that everyone read this book. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I wasn't disappointed. And I'm really gr uh, glad that this is brought to my attention because I heard about it, but I never uh, I, I never really had a desire to read it. But uh, because of Blackathon, I, I read it, and it was just, it was a great uh, reading experience, especially hearing this as an audio book. Um, it was just, just great. So definitely, if you have a chance to read Poet Act, I uh, suggest that you uh, definitely pick it up. 
And then uh, Old Chapter Blue and Versus uh, channel is hosting a, a, a readathon on, mor on mortality throughout the month, throughout the, the year 2019. Uh, last month, uh, they read uh, This Republic of Suffering. This month was Wit, a play by Margaret Edson. And basically this book uh, is it's short, it's 96 pages long. It features a play about a woman who's diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. Um, she's a professor uh, of, of all things. Uh, John Don, who is, uh, from what I get from the, the, the play, is wrote a lot of poems about mortality and death. Uh, and it's just a very good, it's a very good play examining death and what it does to a person and uh, all the implications that means for someone, not just who is dying, but who's uh, dying um uh, from something like like cancer and what that means for them as a patient, what that means for the interactions with others, like the doctors, the nurses, and things like that. And I'll be talking about this video a bit more in a more in-depth video, hopefully sometime this month. But <laughs> we'll we'll see. Every time I, re I record like an individual re review for a book, I never like it, so I, I never post them. But I, I I will at some point hopefully get my singular individual book reviews up at some point. So you can expect this at some point in the future <laughs> another book that i read kind of off the cuff uh because me and my friends have kind of been having uh, uh, uh discussions on masculinity and and what it means to be men i read the truth about men by devon of uh, franklin uh uh, he uh, is a Hollywood producer, he's written books, uh, he's an Adventist as well as I am, uh, and he wrote this book uh, and basically talks about men and what they deal with, and basically um, I found this to be a really, really good, good read, talking about controlling um, things that you lust for, whether that be sex, whether that be, uh, you know, trying to get really far in your career with uh, no thought about how you get there. So if I got to do some bad stuff to go forward in my career, I can do that. Whether that be going after personal possessions, power, things like things that you lust after, after that could lead you to destructive practices in your life and possibly destroying your partner, you know, your wife. Um, uh, he talks about that and how to, how to control uh, those, um, how to control those urges and, and master them. So you can become a better person, a better man, and a better father. Uh, and husband. So uh, this was a really good book. Uh, he offers advice both for men and women, though this is mostly geared towards men, but also he has sessions in there uh, where he gives advice to uh, women who may be dealing with a man who uh, has, you know, no control over himself. Um, but basically, he, he says that the responsibility still lies with us guys to kind of, you know, sit down and take control of these parts of our lives. So this uh, was a really good read, um, and I'm glad I read this, and I'm also going to be um, it was a really good read to be having with, um, it's a really good book to have read and continuing discussions with my friends about what it means to be a man and masculinity. And another book that I picked up because of Barnes and Noble's 50% off sale, uh, I picked up, uh, actually I picked up two books, but this is the one I actually started reading. This is Vietnam, uh, Epic Tragedy, 1945 to 1975 by um, Max Hastings. In this book, I am going to uh, be reading. I'm already started reading. And I think I'm going, my next history series is probably going to be in Vietnam. Uh, I have two great books about it. This is one, and you'll see the other one in, in future updates when I start reading that one. Uh, I think I'm going to read at least three comprehensive books in Vietnam and then see if I can fit that into some sort of series. So you can look out for that uh, also uh, in the future. And then I, uh, I read a little bit more in War for Armageddon, uh, this uh, sci-fi uh, book from the Warhammer for the thousand series uh but i haven't read too much in, in that because i was busy reading all, all the other books i had to read and then uh also um continually i read i didn't read any of this actually in the month of february uh and march is actually the last month because this is my quarterly read i need to finish this by the end of march so that i can go into my next quarterly read so we're gonna try to do that next month um so we'll see um if i can actually pull that off and then for my yearly reads, uh, I haven't read anything in the, the English in their history, unfortunately. Uh, I've just been too busy with all my other reads. And in the decline of the Roman Empire, I've made it some headway. I am now up to Constantine. Uh, and I think, well, actually Constantine's father and uh, the events that led up to Constantine um, becoming one of the four uh, emperor Caesars. 
uh, and then it, of course he's eventually going to become emperor but I haven't gotten there quite yet so I'm going to keep reading on that and so yeah so that's it for um, the books I read in the month of February I had a really good month reading uh, uh, especially my fiction reads it was good to get into some uh, fiction written by African Americans uh, I'm going to uh, continue reading uh, some more of that in the month of March I have uh, if I, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this up before my March TBR or not but I do have one a uh, book that I really look forward to written by African American author in the month of March so that's going to be really good uh, so what was uh, your favorite non-fiction read that's right I know some of you don't read non-fiction but if you did read non-fiction what was your uh, favorite non-fiction read last month and if you didn't read non-fiction what was your favorite read in the month of February uh, my shout out is going to be uh, Nor Noriah Reads definitely uh, check uh, out her, her channel uh, she reads a lot of great stuff uh, and um, I've, I've come to know her through uh, the book two games and so uh, definitely check out uh, uh, her channel if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe you can uh, find me on Twitter at ghostreads 28 and also on dirt reads the link to that is down is down in the description box below so as always keep reading